Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. The double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And I wanted to um, tap into this article um, as we do on these news and prophecies. Pretty much take the things that are happening in the news, all right, and uh, linking them to the Bible, all right, so we can show you via prophecy that these things would be. So we can root ourselves in the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. So when the wind comes, all right, we have root, okay. And stand firm on what we believe because the current system that's being put in place, okay, um, will um, pretty much seek to make you bow, okay, to their, their image, all right? And, um, you know, they have all types of propaganda in the news, all right, a lot of uh, distractions, all right? But behind closed door, we can clearly see that uh, they're moving in on world domination and ultimately... Uh, the uh, banishment of um, God-given rights, all right? Uh, they're not going to stick to their, um, they're not even sticking to their own constitution, okay? Well, how much more God-given rights, all right? They're getting ready to strip humanity of uh, everything they have and go after their soul, okay? And if you um, don't bow to this image, as the scriptures say, um, you, you're going to put yourself in danger of being killed. All right. Now, um, before I jump to this, as you can see, this title, are your friends becoming extremists? Facebook asks users, all right, as it tests bizarre new feature to combat harmful content. All right. So um, as the love of many is getting ready to wax colder and colder as it's been waxing cold. All right. All sorts of, uh, you know, murder every every week is just a bunch of a. Uh, you know, shootings, killings, you look on uh, the Internet is nothing but, you know, people going at each other's throats. OK, and then old Maxine has caused the division. All right. The uh, media all right, using witchcraft has put a big divide between the, uh, you know, the, the jabbed and the unjabbed. So going down the straight gate, that's going to be one of the narratives um that they use okay and you're gonna have people reporting friends you have mothers reporting children fathers reporting children <laughs> Ch children reporting parents it's getting ready to be a uh, crazy situation now we stand firm on uh yahweh bahashem yahweh shai now our friends and family and the people around us in this world period they're there for a whole nother god Okay, they 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 are willing and plan on openly bowing to the image of the beast. All right, in particular the two thirds of our people. Okay, so as I was looking at particular articles, I'll go right back to that one. But here in um, Russia, this particular church threw this out there. All right, and when you see these articles get thrown out there, this is just the mindset of Esau Edom overall. Okay, this is going to be. Um, pretty much the standard because what they're implementing is 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 more so a belief a religion a way when they talk about this uh science and things of that sort what they're talking about is the new way the earth will be ran okay um even joe biden when he took the stand all right or whatever the hell you call it <laughs> he uh he said you know going forward is going to be less politics all right and more uh science all right, so uh, as you can see, this title, Refusing to be Jabbed Against Crown Royale, is a sin, all right, and anti-maxers must spend their life repenting, says Orthodox Russian Church, all right, and um, it's going to start here, all right, because really that's what you uh, see. You see them implementing their new religion, all right, over... Uh, uh, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua over all beliefs, they're establishing their belief, their way. All right. Now, we talk about the image of the beast. We talk about the uh, Renaissance period. Um, as I brought out in times past, you know, during that Renaissance period, there was a medical Renaissance because with Esau comes a particular way. 
all right now they may be divided on a lot of things you know militarily uh p politically economically but they all have one mind you know when it comes to uh uh particular things now their medical field all right which is a part of their uh pharmacia their sorcery all right had its resurgence in the uh renaissance period as well all right um as we read revelation the 20th chapter what does it say all right and after the a thousand years all right which was the byzantine empire where esau edom was shut up a seal was put on him all right and he he, he wasn't in power okay but after that thousand year period you know he um he came out of those caves <laughs> and um you know he rebuilt the desolate places and this is his re renaissance and a part of that was the medical renaissance it says from around 1400s all right to the 1700 ce was a period of progress in european all right edomite medical knowledge with renewed interest in the idea of the ancient greek and roman civilizations all right now we're living in a revival of the greco roman way in particular the roman empire all right, but the beast system we can't forget had its origins in the uh, Greek Empire. All right, starting with Alexander, okay, who had four generals and they, wickedness spread under them. All right, and as they went through the world Hellenizing the known world at that time, you know there was a particular way you would have to fall under. All right, you you would have to. Um, as a matter of fact, we can get it. Uh, in the book of Maccabees, give me one second here. In the book of uh, First Maccabees, because this is a Hellenization in a in a spiritual way that uh, we see happening in the earth. All right, meaning you're gonna have to uh, abide and live by their culture, their ways. Okay, you're gonna look to their gods. All right, for healing. Let me one second. You're gonna uh, uh, ultimately bow to the image of Baal. Okay. And that's where you had the Maccabees come in, Judas, and, you know, starting with his father, uh, Mattathias, I believe, and so forth, who, who stuck to the ways of uh, righteousness. Okay, but uh, let's get this in uh, First Maccabees real quick. First Maccabees, the first chapter, in the 41st verse. It says, moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. All right. And that's what you see happening. You're coming into this whole banner of, uh, you know, nationalism. I mean, not nationalism, global globalism, this global government, this, this way that you're going to, you know, uh, as a human being that you're going to have to go through. OK, as we're we're setting up the kingdom of heaven through preaching this word. OK, they're trying to set up. <laughs> their so-called kingdom of heaven all right and this is not the first time that this has happened nimrod okay as we can be re reading the greeks had that new world order mindset and you can see it being formulated now okay and, and uh it says that all should be one people and that everyone should leave his laws so whatever belief system you had whatever method of healings you had all right, uh, th those are going to be null and void. And if you stand up for those things, you're going to put yourself in harm's way um, and be caught and be labeled. OK, so all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. All right. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. All right. And sacrificed unto idols and profane the Sabbath. And what, what people don't understand is that everything you see being established and set up is tied to idol worship all right and what did john say uh, uh, uh keep thyself from idols the things that you being set that you see being set up are idols the, the mark itself when you get that in revelation 13 it is an idol okay it is their their way of of uh of uh, ensuring you health and life and and, and it's but it, you have to bow to it now when we get this in revelation the 13 chapter okay in the 15th verse, it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. All right. That the image of the beast should both speak. Now, what one of the ways we see the image of the uh, beast living 
all right, which ultimately is the ancient Roman Empire. That's all the Renaissance was. It was the resurgence of that ancient Roman way. But it's fulfilled here through Babylon, the great NATO and the EU. All right. But um, we can see the, the those particular gods, you know, even the medical symbol. All right. Which we know is a serpent on a pole that that is being used today. It's the same thing. OK, so uh, the ancient Greek and Roman civilizations, along with Arabic Persian medicine, following the translation into Latin of many uh, works from these societies man, and our people, as these Israelites did at this time. All right. Easily they're, they're going to submit and they're submitting now at this very day. OK, and when you read Revelation, the 13th chapter it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right. Now, when you look up this word worship, okay, and this is where uh, Esau's religions and his mindset and, you know, uh, come to play, you know, because they say the, the mark is sin or, or Christianity you know, in his religion, in his way. No, that's fulfilled in the image of the beast. All right. Now, let's see here. The word for worship is proskune. All right. Proskune. And it says to kiss the hand towards one in token of reverence. And that's what they're, that's what you're going to have to do. OK, you're going to pay homage. You're going to fall uh, 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 among the Orientals. Uh, especially the Persians, to fall upon the knees, touch the ground with the forehead of an expression of profound reverence. That's what you're going to have to do to these idols, to this way. Now, when Jake gets into these uh, uh, Greek fraternities, all right, one of the things a lot of people don't know is that you, when you go to like nationals and you go really get, you know, because some Jake, you know, they had a little, you know, secret process called hazing, all right, but then the, the business uh, side of it where you technically come an omega or a kappa or alpha you you go and you bow you put a white robe on okay and you take a, a eucharist like a, a the, the bread the bread offering okay you uh like you would do in church you know the little bread and wine you know the blood and the the the, the body well you take the uh the the and you bow and you make an oath to another god well that's happening here in this world all right. Now, it's, it's more, um, you know, uh, uh, they're, they're not coming directly and telling you that what it, that's what it is. But through hearing things like this. OK, that if, if you uh, if you refuse, OK, you're, it's a sin that is basically the mindset, you know, and this it, it, it's above Russia. I mean, this is what they're saying, period. OK, um, you know, they're they're wiping out the Messiah and instituting in their form of salvation. OK, that you're going to have to file. Now, the scriptures say every knee shall bow to the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. OK, well, they have their own plan. OK, but clearly. All right, you're going to do homage. OK. Supplication. OK. And the Israelites were always in trouble making supplications to these other gods okay well a good brother to look up is antipas you know who the the church he was in you know pretty much around that time that god asclepius was big time and you know he he didn't bow and this is according to you know secular history i mean in the scriptures it just says that you know he was a faithful martyr all right but when you go into secular history it does give you some insight you know that you know around that time all right uh uh, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, what's this? Let's see. Let's see. Yep, Revelation uh, 2 and 13. It's just quick. It says, And I know thy works. And where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. All right. And this uh, church, um, this church, Pergamos, 
Okay, uh, they were heavy into idol worship and, and, and wickedness, man. They had all sorts of temples and medical temples where they, you know, use snakes for the purpose of healing and the divination, all sorts of wickedness, man. All right. So this church that was set up there, okay, did what? And thou holdest fast, all right, my name. They stuck they stuck to the, the doctrine. They didn't bow to the, the laws that were being implemented in, in, at this time in this region. It says, and has not denied my faith. Even in those days wherein Antipas my, uh, was my faithful martyr who was slain among you, all right, where Satan dwelleth. And when you go into it, ultimately he didn't bow the knee, all right, to the image of Baal. Because that's what you're getting ready to have to do. And you're going to have a, a team of minions and monkeys and, and goblins, some who you thought were even cool with you, that are going to assist in taking you down, man. This is Romans chapter... Uh, Let's see here. Romans chapter 7. Salakia. Romans chapter 11. And uh, verse 4. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. All right. And that word bowed the knee. Okay. Bowed. Okay. Camp to, to bend the knees, all right, in honor of one, in religious veneration, to bow oneself, use the worshipers. So the, the elect, <laughs> the elect have a very, very uh, uh, beautiful sacrifice in that for the story's sake, they're chosen to be the ones that don't bow to the image of Baal, okay, the remnant. All right. And Baal is all around you. It's in the air. It's in the food. OK, the way that this earth is being ran. All right. Is ultimately under the, the spirit of Satan. OK. And if you're against that. OK. Uh, this world is getting ready to rebel against you in a major way. OK. Because and, and what is that going to do? That's going to put the witness because we are the witnesses in the threat of death. All right. Because the people of this world are dead set on idol worship. See, they're waiting for the next idol they can bow to or, or to aid them to, you know, uh, in, a, in, a, in a quest of immortality and overcoming all of the sicknesses and things that are brought on by this 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 death filled world. They're looking for the next, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, microwave, uh, microwaved comfort. All right. So let's get first Peter chapter one. Uh chapter 4 verse 3 it says let's see here 1 Peter 4 and 3 it says for the time the, the time past of our lives may suffice to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness lust excess wines revelings banquetings and abominable idolatries all right so when we were in the world when we didn't have knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai all right we 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 did things that were contrary to him, man. All right. Our faith was nowhere in the, uh, a higher power. Our faith was only in earthly things that were provided by men. Now, particular men are set up to create things that can help you and aid you. But the, the ruler of this world, all right, and the ruler of this empire, you know, where the apostles, you know, and uh, the disciples, you know, uh, were, were teaching. Okay, these regions where these Israelites were waking up, they, they were tied to these very different things. Like we just read about the church of Pergamos where, where, where Satan dwellest. Okay, high level witchcraft was being done there. So the Israelites that were waking up among these regions, okay, they were catching hell. Okay, they were catching hell not only from the wicked, you know, uh, Jews and scribes and Pharisees, but from their own people. Who, who 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 ultimately saw them waking up so we're going to go through that same thing they're used to us you know getting excess lust excess revelings no rules no morals all right and now you can see how you even your family members are starting to look at you crazy all right uh uh, uh first they looked at you crazy for not crying for biden all right now they're looking at you crazy because you don't uh want the, the Satan to leak one off in you. They're really like, you're, you're crazy. Why wouldn't you 
because they 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 are following after the beast. They have bowed the knee, all right, fully to, in reverence to the image of Baal, to where they don't see any faith in a, a, a higher power. This is the their god, okay. The god of this world have blinded their minds. Yeah, you know. It says. Wherein, so the you know in in times past we did the will of the Gentiles, all right, heathenistic acts. Okay, we lived horrible lives, but now that we have the fear of the Lord, there, there's a way we walk that the world's gonna be like, what are you? Why? Why not? What are you doing? What do you mean? Wherein they think it's strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of rise, speaking evil of you, man, looking at you like 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 you crazy. They think it's strange. See, that's why the scriptures say he that uh, departed from evil making himself a prey. So they think that it's strange, okay? <laughs> the strangers of his salvation, man. The Greek, the Greek word, so like you. Strong's G thirty-five seventy-nine. Say needzo. Say needzo. Okay. It says to surprise, to, to surprise or astonish by strangeness and novelty of a thing. So they're gonna be shocked. It's gonna be strange when 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 they uh uh when they see your faith, when they see what you believe in, when they see how you're moving. And the, and, and these social media accounts are gonna be where people get targeted. But pretty much, we're out there. We're you know, YouTube is a form of social media. All right, now, let's see here. Let's read it again. Let's read this in the NLT. It says, you have had enough in the past of evil things that godless people e enjoy, their immorality and lust and their feasting and drunkenness and wild parties and their terrible worship of idols. And our people are bowing to idols like never before in this, in this day and age. Because everything is an idol. And you don't even know it. Everything is an idol, man. All right? We even have to fight. Okay? Because we're in this world, man. But our inward man in the spirit is what keeps us going, man. But to where we're not overcome by it. And we overcome death. That's what we're doing. Okay? It says, wherein they think it's strange that ye run not with them. All right? To the same excess of riot. All right, because the the mass majority of the the people, all right, are wondering after the beast. They wondering after they're in they they they're in admiration to this beast. Wow, I mean they they're being taken through the the ringer, man. They've been drained emotionally and spiritually. Okay, then they they watch all of these the the, the news and all of the the the, the crap. And, and pretty much their souls have been given over to them. They don't even have their souls. They've sold their souls without even uh, 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 going before the devil directly. Your soul, that's why it says in Revelation 18, the souls of men were in Babylon the Great. Okay? Now, this is Revelation 13 and 3. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. The Renaissance period, which we showed you what came with that. It was more than the classics. It was more than the uh, 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 the paintings where they painted over the, the, the right, the dark images. But it was more of a mindset. You know, uh, the, 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 uh, the music, art, everything was changed. Okay, and they stole everything and, and, and just had free reign for a little season, which they're at the end of their little season to go out. Okay, into the world and do wickedness. All right. Revelation 13 and 3. And I saw one of his heads. All right. The Roman Empire, in particular, the Western Roman Empire, as it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed. Okay. In the Renaissance period. Okay. Which led up to this Babylon, the great NATO and the EU. All right. And all the world wondered after the beast. You see, all the world wondered after the beast, man. That word wonder means to be in great admiration, man. Okay? And they worship the dragon which gave power to the beast. So they're worshiping ancient Rome. They're worshiping that ancient way. They're worshiping those ancient gods. Okay? 
which when you when you go to uh revelation the uh 13th chapter it talks about 666 all right which is chai size stigma okay now uh real briefly real briefly okay okay um because you have the 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 the, the uh, chai okay which that's the uh x all right that's the first um letter those in the name christ or anointed one okay they they're, they're going to x out the messiah okay then you have this coily snake looking figure which is the chai i mean or the zai okay which when you go into that is dealing with some very very deep dark wisdom on the left hand side okay which they call today a uh, science and then you have stigma all right so john a revelator which there's more that goes into this but john a revelator pretty much okay gave you the blueprint of what he saw them do in these latter days and you're gonna there's a there's a system you're gonna have to bow we know stigma deals with something going in you so john a revelator saw exactly what we're witnessing a system being pla placed that if you don't bow to it you you hey you're gonna be hey, you're gonna be in the threat of imminent death all right but the beauty of it is that the elect revelation of uh, the 15th chapter the elect okay says what revelation 15 and 2 and i saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name all right stand on the glass on the sea of glass having harps of god so we have victory over the beast all right which is this whole system man esau edom and over his image the ways of the system the religion, the idol, the idols, the, the the medical, everything that that is fulfilled within His image. All right, which is perverseness. Okay, and over His mark. Okay, which hey, that's coming. We're living in those times, man. And over the number of His name. Okay, because He's gonna try to put His name on us. All right, that six six six. He's gonna try to put his vibration on us all right by entering into us and defiling the lord's virgin okay but the 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 the, the virgin the elect are written to get victory over that over all of these things that he's going to come with okay all right but before you know that 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 uh victory comes it's going to be we're going to be targeted they're going to use all sorts of uh uh, uh you know witchcraft to come at us okay and and they're already everybody's mind is controlled by this beast so they're going to fight for this beast knowingly or un unknowingly are your friends becoming extremist facebook uh acts users to, uh as it tests bizarre new feature to combat harmful content all right facebook is testing a new a prompt that asks users if they know anyone flirting with a violent ideology also warning others that they may have been exposed to extremist content all right because they don't want you to think for yourself they don't want you to have an opinion they want you to see anything outside of what they're promoting or their religion so that's what it is uh, uh as a uh as a um you know as a uh violation you know also warning others that they may have been exposed to extremist content meaning if you were thinking this was the right thing you've been exposed to extremist content and updated that many have slammed as orwellian all right you're not going to have a voice okay the platform rolled out as a new test feature for certain u.s based users on thursday all right part of its uh, broader uh, effort to combat extremism according to facebook because really what's happening is the truth is out there the chariots are, are, are there you know and they you know they played around they're trying to play with the narrative and control it and you know implement their pseudo uh, uh, angels and things like that but guess what it's not going to work the truth is out there man okay we have an ear to hear 
at this point and we're preaching and the remnant is waking up. You know, even if you cut us off, the root has been planted. Okay. So what's right is getting ready to be labeled wrong on a high level. Woe to them who call evil good and good evil. That's where we're at. Good versus evil. All right. And the good are the Israelites, those who have this message and are, are, are crying for the throne of David to be set up. Because even if you're against so-called the NWO, if you have a mind that this uh, corrupt, crooked, pervert, perverse kingdom doesn't pay and c continues and is not destroyed and, and taken down and that the people who are ruling still rule, but a few people go to jail and it's restored to how it was in the 20s and all of this crap. Then you out of your mind, man. You you a clown. Okay, so uh, the get, get uh, as the scriptures say, the love of many is gonna wax cold. But they're pitting people against one another. All right, and they've allowed you know people to you know post on these social media platforms. Okay, uh, they've allowed particular narratives to be forwarded. Now they're gonna pit the people against one another, man, which is gonna lead to uh, the lack of trust. Which is going to lead to the uh, uh, exactly what I just said. The love of many is going to wax cold, man. Okay? Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound. Okay? And we see iniquity abound. And this place is getting more and more perverse. Iniquity means sin. Now, here it is. The Christian church is telling people that they could sin and do whatever they want to do. They don't have to live by any moral code. So, they're a part of iniquity. Uh, 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 continuously abounding And the love of many Shall wax cold man So people are going to have a, a cold Heart towards one another man Let's look up that word cold Okay the love of many Shall wax cold meaning their minds Are going to be uh, they, Because they no longer have their soul Okay so they're not going to Use any reason they're going to think And operate with beast like Impulsive uh, 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 You know behaviors man Suko to breathe all right uh, uh it says meta metaphorically all right to a uh, waning of love now what does waning mean okay waning so people are getting ready to get cold blooded childish petty scared okay and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna look at you and say you're holding up progress your mindset and your belief and what you're doing is holding us up from getting to the, the the paradise on the left hand side through this salvation they're offering it says it says of the moon because you have the waxing and the waning moon you have it says a smaller part so that it appears to decrease in size all right to decrease to become weaker Okay, it decreases in size. So love, which is the keeping of the laws and people having good terms for one another and, you know, unity and all of this BS. <laughs> but really, the, the keeping of the commandments is, is, is waxing cold. All right. Not that the people keep the commandments anyway, but love is the keeping of the commandment. And people already don't do that. So the little so-called love they had is going to wax cold, man. Okay. And this is where we are, man. Okay? Because let's look up that word love. I think it's all one word. Let me see here. The love of many. Agape. Agape. That agape love. Affection. Goodwill. Benevolence. Brotherly love. All right? Which, which is how societies afford it. Through people having a mind towards one another, I'm not going to do this, and holding the, uh, and living by standards, that has been absolutely decimated in Babylon and Great. There are no standards. There are no morals. People will do whatever they can, all right, to uh, uh, so say um, get a victory or, or or win for themselves. They don't have no faith. Okay, so they're going to look at you with faith in the Lord, and they're going to be offended. That you have a standard, that you stand for something. Okay, and they're going to be reporting you, man. So it's just something to watch out for through the spirit. Um, But yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, it's only so much you can say about these things. But 
you see where it's going. Okay, uh, and, and as you can see, this this new this new thing. Okay, uh, 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 Delta Sigma Theta, <laughs> Code Delta. All right, this new thing. You know, it's already spreading. It's already. I mean, because ultimately, it's this. Esau went too far to look back. He can't look back. He can't turn from that whole Crown Royale narrative. He has to continue going. All right, but uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim there's a he's he, he's he's moving so sloppy that eventually he's gonna ensnare himself. All right, and that's what we're waiting on through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shot. So on to the next. Uh, hopefully, I'll edify. Shalom. Don't bow to the image of the beast. <laughs>